Hello everybody and welcome. This is episode zero of a map editor walkthrough that I'm doing for Air Mac. And we're gonna this is episode zero because we're just gonna go over my own map that I've most recently completed uh, to show you what the end product would look like and uh, a little bit of the process so like what we're gonna start with. Alright, so I'm just gonna load up a solo game so I could uh, show you guys my map and do challenge. I like to use sandbox so it doesn't have to do the reload that the map editor does. And this is an example of a of a map of the map I've been working on for a while now. Uh, uh, I think I've been working on it on and off for like a couple of months now. And this is what I've ended up with. I'm gonna. So it's all like I have all the terrain made. Yeah, this basic started that off basically. Uh, the first step was that I drew drew up like a concept. I usually do it in my head, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with MS Paint. But I did all the terrain. Uh, then uh, put put around like neutrals and that stuff. Props. I even have scripts in here too. We might go into that a little, I probably won't go deep into it in like the walkthrough that I'll be doing in this series. And this is kind of the map. I'll go play on it a little bit just to demonstrate like uh, that the map works of course. There's some of the message scripts working. I mm -hmm. wish I could speed it up but things work. You could capture everything. It's it's not layouts definitely doesn't look like a normal map and we're just gonna go out of it now and just go see what the uh, uh. all right so we're back here in MS paint now and uh this is uh how I drawn out that map you got you all saw earlier here's the starting blue fort here's the starting other fort uh, all these circles are generally just outposts and how I have it and this black is like somewhat kind of a uh, dead space or walls like you're not supposed to exactly go through it but it's well, as you saw there's past there this is a very crude drawing of it but how I was uh, planning out this map I was, I was trying to make make people like go in multiple directions like flow out that's a bad arrow like there's a whole lot of directions you could you could go in this uh, in this and how I le le made the layout of the map instead of how Aramac normally does like lanes or like one huge lane like yeah if you see dual there's like very little point in like go spreading out or like going for different areas it's just one huge big lane through the middle there's no point in like spreading out but this kind of forces it like how I lay it out the, the fortresses here are a really short distance what color do I want to use no like uh, this distance here is far much short, shorter than going around say here but there's a good reason for that here is a whole it's it's filled with uh, a lot of neutrals and it's mostly meant for micro fighting micro fighting like Ermac style micro not like other RTS or other kind of micro there's even like a uh, crater chasm dead space cut line through here you can't like go over with can't like roll over use normal movement of units to just move beyond uh, the middle cutoff you have to actually ferry of your own mech as opposed to taking around this path the, the inner this circle huge circle here you could just roll with units through here but it's a much longer path it's also like a in a lane a little bit somewhat tight lane but it's all spaced out enough where potentially if the if the opponent's attention was like caught like here like a, a force going by here could actually work as a like he could distract in this area while a strong force could push here and if, if you were like a if you notice when I was panning around the map earlier you might have noticed like these outer out uh, these posts outer outposts like here here and here 
uh, th these aren't supposed to be like you always go after them every game. You saw there's like a ton if you did catch it, there like a ton of neutrals guarding it. Uh, I kind of made it where it's like a late game or like an, a choice outpost, it, you could say. Like it, how it doesn't like give the normal outpost benefits. Like after a while, it'll, it'll spawn like a bomber drone to go attack the fortress. It's like these two outposts, but these are uh, they sit on the cliff, like at a vantage point that look down on this path. This big lane here. There's also a lot of, a lot of crazy paths like uh, in this area, in these areas. A lot of, like a, like a, normally you wouldn't like if you catch a player's attention off like if they're there there like if you're in it if you if you catch their attention in any of these areas, it's gonna be a really long way to come back to like go defend like this or that if you're there. You need a better color. Like, if they're right here, it's going to take a while for them to react to you if you're coming down here and it's going to be hard to see since it's since you're huddled in, in like your area and you can just pass through it. And that's kind of like how I, how I do it. Most, I, most of the time I do this in my own head and only like now that I'm just making a video on it, I'm going to, I make it in Emma's Paint to visualize it. But this is somewhat my thought process and like making a map. I first usually uh, I think I think of a theme first like this like as you saw it's like the veil of grass uh, I didn't really represent it on this picture here but it was all like the valley tile set as, it, as, as it's called in game then I think of the outpost and fortress positioning along with it to terrain mm, that's like because uh, part of why I think you should think of a theme first is if you look through the tile sets uh, I'm not going to do it right now but each each one has very different tiles they're not going to perfectly line up like if you use different tiles next to each other it's going to be absolutely horrible so that's why I say to pick your theme first and then start putting like your outpost and then your map layout afterwards and we're going to actually start doing that from scratch because I'm going to end episode 0 here this was just a preview of my own map and a, like a finished uh, what what the end product could look like like what what it, uh, even though that map isn't even done that's just to give you an give you guys an idea of what a, a map that's been through the map editor for a while would look like all right till next episode see you guys the planning will look like and this will be like what episode one will be like drawing out the map